Uh, hold on. <laughs> is this our fourth sink and a bar? Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm Carisha Swanson. I'm here to show you this incredible kitchen. Hi, Inga! Welcome! <laughs> so good to see you. Nice to see you. So here is the kitchen. Wow, you want to talk about an incredible kitchen? I think we're in it. So it feels like we're in the south of France. Yeah, we, we might be. <laughs> <laughs> Instead, here we are in Scottsdale, Arizona, and it just feels otherworldly. This is gorgeous. So tell me just a little bit about your firm, what you guys do, and how you got involved in this project. Our company is Oz Architects. Yeah. Um, we have architecture and interior design. We started this house with two amazing clients. Um, they wanted to build a family home. This is mm -hmm. sort of their forever home. Yeah. They wanted this to be a gathering place. The kitchen actually is kind of the heart of the home yeah. and was for them, so here we are. So was this a new construction for you? It is. It's yeah. a brand new build. One of the things that our company, I feel like, is really great about is building things that last and have mm. permanence. I think the stone elements and all the layers that you see in the, the landscape and the building and the finishes and the furniture yeah. really add some grounding and a lot of the elements that you're looking at are antique materials that are from Europe, France, Belgium. The stone walls here are uh, actual local stone from this area. And so when I'm looking in this kitchen, like what are some of the things that you that came straight from Europe aside from the beams? Yes. These are centuries old antique French oak beams. They wow. came directly from France. The island countertop came from France. The floors and countertops are French limestone. Beautiful. Huh? This kitchen almost puts the appliances in the background. It's be true. Because there's so much character in this space. Yeah, it's a non-traditional kitchen right. in the way that this wanted to be a gathering spot. So this is kind of your cooking wall. Yes. Here we have steam oven, refrigerator, range, and this outstanding custom hood. So one of the things that's really key here is you have different surfaces everywhere. You know, I see a little bit of tile work here. You mentioned these beautiful stones and laid in the wood. You have one countertop here, stainless steel here. We had all of this custom sized and brought in. This is a, a beautiful poured pewter top from France. This is pewter. We oh, have, so it's not even stainless steal. No, it's wow. poured pewter. It was made in France and has just a wonderful character and warmth to it. I think warmer than you get with stainless. Mm -hmm. A double Dutch French door. Somebody hand me a jumping rope. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so uh, it was the first that's kind of be made by this manufacturer, Hopes. They do amazing steel windows and they created this beautiful window for us. So you can open both sides of the top independently and the bottom. Oh, yes. It's stunning. This is great. You can hear the fountain, enjoy the outside. Let yeah. me show you this beautiful cupboard. Perfect. It's an antique French door. Um, that we found on one of our shopping trips. Uh, this is gorgeous. It's just a cupboard front, but we were, wanted to incorporate it into the built-in stone. So we've added custom pull-outs behind. Ah, oh, yes. And you even did a nice little curve here. <laughs> Easy access. <laughs> Easy access. That's so pretty. And this yeah. homeowner loves whiteware, I've noticed. Yes, classic white. We can't go wrong with that. Yeah, beautiful. Yes. On to this area. Yeah, so this is our main sink wall. The countertops are the, the French limestone. This is new quarried, it's not antique, but okay. it is from France. Yeah. We had another covered front that was an antique. This unit from here forward is all antique, 18th century, another oh, nice. Swedish covered front. This one, though, we utilized old wood on the back okay. um, and built a furniture piece because we wanted to make a coffee station. Oh, nice. So you can see that the antique and the new really flows together seamlessly, right. but now we have function and our client can use their coffee maker in the morning. Love that. This is pretty amazing. <laughs> This is a beautiful sink, another French antique that we bought on our travels with our clients overseas. And the third sink that's in this kitchen. It is. It's essentially a prep sink. Okay. We loved having the patina and the character of this in the room. Because this is a larger kitchen, it actually is functional to have this on this wall right, as well. Right. We liked the rustic character. We added a antique spout and actually had these handles custom made to go with Love the it. function of this. So one of the questions I have for you is like, you mentioned earlier that it was kind of like, this is not an a typical kitchen, right? Yeah. It's a little atypical actually. Right, yes. 
And so it is such a large space. And what I've never really seen in a kitchen is two chairs just kind of framing an area, yeah. feeling like a little coffee nook in the middle of the kitchen. Exactly. Our client, you know, with a kitchen this size, knew she didn't want a large kitchen island to mm -hmm. go and fill in the space. That's not how they wanted to use the kitchen. That's not how they function. They would really enjoy a little bit of quality time together in the morning or in the evening, especially by this beautiful fireplace. So we decided to keep the island smaller and bring in a seating group. So I can't not <laughs> come over <laughs> to a fireplace with a mantle in the middle of the kitchen, kind of like the final part of making this feel like you're in some old European home, you know? This is amazing. Yeah, cooking fireplace is a really traditional thing to have, especially in Europe, right. um, in the kitchen. Such a gorgeous space, but I know that there's more to this home and more entertaining <laughs> spaces. <laughs> so let's go check out some more of these areas. All right. Okay. <laughs> Uh, hold on. <laughs> no outdoor area without a moment. Is this our fourth sink and a bar? Yes, it is. It's a full wet bar. We again had these limestone sinks custom made yeah. for this location. This one has a sink and that one's just a bar. That one's, well, just a bar. Just a bar. <laughs> just a dry bar. <laughs> So it feels so great for it to be kind of connecting these two spaces together. Yeah, it's right in between the living areas. Like you got the kitchen and the entertaining area. Yeah. Out. And what a great use of a hallway. You have to cut through here anyway. Yeah, absolutely. Why not add a bar? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's head outside. <laughs> I really want to show you this outdoor living area. And I really want to hang out in this outdoor <laughs> living area. <laughs> so this is our outdoor dining, outdoor living space for the home. It's yeah. covered. Um, this is a gorgeous setting. We have the best sunset views in the house. This from is this a patio. gorgeous setting. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know we've lucked out on a really spectacular day here, but I'm gathering this is probably not abnormal. No, Arizona winter, spring, and fall is stunning. Yeah, this is beautiful. And then you've got that gorgeous fireplace. Another antique stone fireplace yeah. with a custom fire grate. Um, this one, again, is raised so that you can enjoy it from the table, right. from the sitting area. This and raised fireplace thing is, I'm really digging it. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's the way to go. I mean, a yeah. fireplace in every room is the way to go. Oh, it's but... true story. <laughs> true story. And then just, I think I've lost count, maybe our fifth sink? Yeah, yeah, I think we're up to And we have, so we're not far. even going into bathrooms at this house. <laughs> so this is gorgeous, but I think it's time to get into that morning room that you mentioned, because okay. we've at least got to see one of these other entertaining spaces. <laughs> it's over this way. Okay. Oh, this is beautiful. And so you were calling this the morning room. I am. Yeah. Yeah, this is this room gets beautiful morning light and we designed it in a, the way of a traditional solarium where yes. you have two, at least two walls that are all steel touch windows. And they and, and both sides open out to this beautiful courtyard. Yes, to the pool, yeah. the yard, the courtyard. Love that. Mm -hmm. And then these floors, which we can't get away from. This is a, a Belgian, this is antique Belgian bluestone and limestone. It's gorgeous. Room. Well, it feels like I've seen kind of the entire breadth of what there is to see here for at least, actually not the entire breadth. I think you mentioned <laughs> multiple other entertaining areas, but is there anywhere else that I need to see before I go? Yes, before you go, you have to see the wine cellar. Obviously. <laughs> that I'm into. Let's head down. <laughs> so here it is. Oh my God. Come on. <laughs> it's refrigerated, so it feels amazing in here. Yes, it's the coolest room in the house, and it has stone walls and gravel floor, which is a really traditional wine cellar detail. This is amazing. 17th century table, of course, her beautiful antique door. Well, thank you for inviting me in, and thank you for giving us a tour of this incredible kitchen. Absolutely. From upstairs to downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're so glad to have you. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers.